what's going on everyone is Marcellus out here inside of Sao Paulo Brazil so today we're pretty much just gonna talk about what you really need to know before coming to Brazil and not just Sao Paulo but Brazil in general and it's kind of obvious and I know you probably hear a bunch of noise because this is the uh, park it's like right in the middle of Brazil, Sao Paulo and it's a huge city so you know you're gonna hear a bunch of noise and uh, yeah, it's right in the middle, right at um, Avenue Paulista or Paulista Avenue as we would say in America. They would say Avenida Paulista or something like that. But we got to talk about what you need to know before coming to Brazil, which is Portuguese. And there's a lot of reason why you need the basic Portuguese and you need some Portuguese in general. So we're just going to talk about that. So the first thing I want to talk about, about with, you know, needing to know Portuguese is the basics. So let's say you're going coming to Sao Paulo, which is the biggest city inside Brazil, you know, biggest city in the Southern Hemisphere, as they say, biggest city in South America. It's almost as big as Brazil, or actually, I mean, not Brazil, but you know, New York, New York City is pretty much just as big as New York City. But the most important thing is like, there's stuff like the Metro, you know, like the Metro train. If you don't want to pay a huge, large amount of money, you know, to go on, uh, you know ubers every single day because that does get expensive it's pretty cheap here you, you know you can pay five dollars per uber ride for like a 15 20 minute ride you know inside america a 15 20 minute ride might cost you ten dollars you know if you're doing like a 30 minute ride that could either cost you like twenty dollars inside america thirty dollars so over here you know it's a lot cheaper but when you're doing that you're going all over going here and there you know it's just a lot you know a lot it's a lot to take in so the main reason though is like whenever you're going into the metro if you're going in there and you're like i want one ticket they're not going to know what you're saying almost nobody in brazil speaks english i've literally been here for about i want to say two weeks yeah not two weeks actually about a week and a half i've met about four people total that have spoken english and they've actually spoken pretty good english the four people that i have met but it's really hard for you to meet people here that speak English. I don't know if it's different in Rio or if it's different in other parts. I definitely know inside the smaller cities, they don't speak English, but this is the largest city in Brazil. And for only four people so far within a whole of like two weeks to, or like a week and a half to only speak, you know, Portuguese and not English, you know, it's kind of crazy because there's 23 million people inside of this city. So you would think much more people speak it, but it's not the case and especially being here uh paulista avenue this is the this is the very wealthy area of brazil right it's a it's a very wealthy area and the fact that i literally can't find anyone that speaks english here you know i did see someone earlier uh yesterday by my area out inside of uh republic uh, they spoke english but uh a lot of people here they, they don't really speak english so you definitely need to know portuguese now it's not just that you need to know portuguese it's also that a lot of people inside of Brazil, they also are trying to learn English, but it helps a lot like if you're both helping each other out. And another thing that you would really want to look out for, like whenever you're speaking with people, let's just say whenever you leave the airport, the first thing that's going to happen to you, I just want to tell you this, this is a good trick as well. Whenever you leave an airport, you're probably going to get ran into by a taxi person. They're going to be like, hey, do you want to you want to ride with me? They won't really speak English. They'll probably do like a little bit of um, English here and there but they'll know enough to try to get you in the taxi. Don't do that. You'll ride like 30 minutes in the taxi. They'll charge you like $240. That happened to me. So you, you definitely want to you definitely want to uh, be careful with that. I got finessed. I I got finessed. $240. It was a safe ride, I would say that because a lot of people say the Uber drivers, they don't even want to uh, wait up there at the airport because they got beef with the taxi drivers pretty much. That's that's pretty much what's going on here taxi drivers pretty much ran them out of the airport so you either got to catch the bus or the metro or you know the taxi which is a finesse but let's keep talking about you know learning portuguese so you also need portuguese because you know just little stuff like trying to order food and stuff a lot of the menus in these places aren't english unless they're high like unless they're like really high class like rascal r-a-s-c-a-l that place i ate there it's very good they have an english menu but usually only the high class restaurants have English menus for you so you're not gonna be able to like you know speak with any of these local restaurants trying to get in there and another thing about it a lot of Brazilians you know they do want to learn English but the thing is if you if you come to them and you're speaking English 
they're gonna look at you like you're crazy and they it's like they want to speak english but it's like it's kind of like a respect thing like when they see that you're trying to speak portuguese then they're then they start to try to speak english with you because i brazilians they have a lot of pride so everywhere you go you know you'll hear brazilian people just yelling brazil and then you'll just see them wearing like brazilian flags and stuff like that they have a lot of pride so it's kind of like america you know how americans when people come up to them speaking spanish some americans take offense to that when they don't try to when you know spanish people don't try to learn language and it's kind of the same here with brazil so you at least want to attempt to you know just say hola uh como estas you know it's the same thing inside of you know spanish where you just say oh it was just hey and whenever you say bye ciao so it's like the simple stuff like that if you want to say thank you muito, or thank you very much muito obrigado there's there's a lot of different things that you can learn for you know the beginner stuff but like i said the main thing that you really want to know is just whenever you initially approach people initially approach them inside of english and then as you're trying to speak you can say something all along the line at all along the lines of like you um you just like i don't speak much portuguese portuguese or my portuguese is very little which would be like you portuguese muito poco something like that yeah you portuguese muito poco or muito poco but yeah it's very hard but like if they see that you're trying then they're really gonna try to actually speak english with you because the thing is a lot of them know basic english like but they'll pretend like they don't until you start to try to speak portuguese and then they try to speak with you inside of uh, english and portuguese then you'll be back and forth because like and it's not all the ubers i've been most of them play english music before i even get in i already hear them playing some like american music so it's like a lot of them are trying to learn english and uh a lot of them you know they'll i see a lot of people wearing new york city hats over here a lot of them are wearing american clothing there's a lot of mcdonald's over here actually right across the street i don't know if you can see it but um it's a mcdonald's you probably can't see it from here but i'll make sure to walk by there it's a mcdonald's and the theme of the McDonald's, it's a White House McDonald's. It's not just McDonald's, it's a White House. So yeah, it looks just like the White House. It's a very high class McDonald's. They literally have a security guard standing out front. He's got a full suit on. They got hostess in there. They got suits on as well. So it's a high class McDonald's and almost, almost all of them inside Sao Paulo are like that. So that's one thing that you wanna know about here. But yeah, just at least try to learn some Portuguese. And what I will say is, do, what I've learned is like Duolingo when you come over here and you know like all the Duolingo words all that goes out the window the second you start speaking or the second someone starts speaking to you because typically when they're speaking they're speaking fast it's really hard to understand what they're saying when they're speaking so fast especially if you've already tried to learn Spanish because you know Spanish and Portuguese is two completely different things so a lot of people they will ask me like do you speak Spanish or do you at least speak Spanish you know because and then I'll be like, no, mi español uh, es muy poco, which is my Spanish is very small, but I can speak a little bit inside of Spanish and, you know, a lot of them understand Spanish. So if you have some Spanish, you'll get by a lot smoother than some people that don't know Spanish. So you definitely want to know um, a lot of things like that. And uh, also, depending on where you're going, whether you're going to Rio de Janeiro or you're coming here to Sao Paulo, another thing you want to know is just dress for the occasion, you know, inside of Sao Paulo, they kind of dress up, they're more dressy, classy and stuff like that. But if you go over to Rio, it's not the same thing. You know, you got people in shorts and you got people in sandals. If you walk around in shorts and sandals in Sao Paulo, people are gonna look at you crazy. They're gonna look at you like you're crazy because no one's out here walking in shorts. No one's out here walking in sandals. It's actually kind of cold in Sao Paulo. You probably wouldn't think inside of Brazil that it gets cold, but it is about 63 degrees here. Last night it was like 57. So it does get cold inside Sao Paulo and it also does rain a lot. So make sure that you're also checking weather. And uh, another thing about the Portuguese speaking, like whenever you're inside of certain places, you just don't want to speak English, any English at all. Like for instance, uh, I have a place, I live in, not live, but you know, I got an Airbnb inside Republica, which is a relatively dangerous area. You know, they say that area has a lot of homeless people, but it's the historical part of town. So it's a really beautiful part of town. It's a really nice area because of the historical buildings so i like being there and they got like museums and stuff out there but it gives you it really gives you the authentic brazil because there's like not many english speakers if any i met one person out there that speaks english inside of uh republic sao paulo republic of sao paulo that's inside of uh near the center of sao paulo really but there's very little people that speak english and if you start speaking english around the wrong person now you're on target they'll start following you 
Uh, if you're walking around with your camera like this, you got like a selfie stick with a uh, camera like I got, they'll try to snatch that. Uh, no one's trying to snatch my camera because I don't go around that area waving the camera around. If you notice, I'm inside of the middle of Apollo, inside Poli Polista Ave. This is the relatively rich area and uh, I'm inside of a park and it's a pretty nice park. As you can see, it's got, uh, it's got some workout spots over there. It's a nice park. So that's why I'm like out here filming. I wouldn't be out like all these other places filming, but you will see a lot more from me like filming in the streets and stuff like that. I'm just getting a little bit accustomed to here. And it's like whenever you walk by people speaking English, it really puts a target on your back if you ever walk by the wrong person which could be very easy so there's like a lot of sketchy people on the streets in sao paulo but let's say you're inside of rio i i know inside of rio it's more of a tourist area so if you're speaking uh english in rio you may be a little more safe i don't want to say safer but they say rio is more dangerous than sao paulo which is kind of crazy because sao paulo is a big metropolitan city like it's kind of like new york so for them to say rio is more dangerous that's like saying miami is more dangerous than your new york so it you know you would you would think new york is more dangerous but the thing is inside the favelas inside of rio like people will come down into the city from the favelas who are in like gangs and stuff and i guess they target tourists they might hear you speaking english and like waving a camera so it's like you want to be scarce with your english you just don't want speaking english everywhere uh whenever you're going up to things people will just try to speak portuguese first before you try to speak english and if anything Pull out the translator and show them if you got some sketchy people around you. They, people might just think that your voice is uh, shot or something, like you can't uh, speak much. But that's pretty much what I got to say for that. And uh, also another thing, you know, if you want to go to Rio, it's the same thing. You don't want to be on the beach waving your camera around, uh, speaking English. If you do, you just want to like a local with you. Like you will get targeted speaking English anywhere around, English anywhere around here. Like anywhere you go speaking english around here people will target you so you definitely want to be careful and uh if homeless people walk on up to you on the side of the road start talking to you just put your thumbs up nod your head nod it yes nod it no just walk away and uh that's what the people do here in the Sahara. they don't even speak to the homeless people which is <laughs> i guess you could say it's kind of messed up but it's kind of not they're just asking for money and stuff but if you are english then they're gonna look at you like you're a target and they're no they're gonna know you're not gonna be able to like flag someone down like hey call the cops they just robbed me blah 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 it's gonna take a while for you to convey your message across so you're an easier target they can just take your stuff run away and by the time people know what you're saying well they're gone so you really don't want to speak much english around here but yeah that's pretty much all i got for now i'm gonna come out with more videos so definitely stay tuned and uh yeah definitely uh check out the links in my description if you want a consultation or anything like that and as always i'll be back with another video